There are certain places on Rust maps that are the most sought after for building. It's no secret that the Ice Lakes are one of these places that the big groups love to build. So, with a force wipe labelled the Arctic update, I thought what better time to take the Ice Lake for myself as a solo. It would be a raise off spawn to get there first, but if I could secure one of the lakes early, then I knew I could have a successful wipe. Before we get started though, I'm not even kidding when I say that 95% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So, if you're not subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate you taking a second to do that. Also click the little bell thing when you're down there. I have a plan of what I want to do already. I've already sussed the map out. Okay, good spawn, good spawn. Um, the place I'm going to build is quite a sought after position. There's two ice lakes that are next to Arctic Research Base. So I want to build next on one of them. But big groups tend to like the ice lakes. So as a solo, it's going to be pretty hard to contest them. I think I'm going to go to that one because it's closer to Bandit Camp. But there's a couple issues. One being there's no nowhere for green card, like anywhere even remotely close. There's like nowhere for green card. If I can get the ice lake, there could already be people on there and it's only been, what, three minutes into wipe. I honestly would not be surprised. GG bro. I'm sorry, man. Oh, is this looted? Oh, let's loot this. Let's loot this. Oh, this is not what I expected it to look like. I thought it would be flat more. Oh, the ice lake's on top of the hill, dude. That's so good. That's such a good position. In between dome, you can see the top of dome there and uh, Arctic base, which is, this is our first look at the Arctic base. Kind of cool. I expect it to be pretty contested. There's a polar bear right there. There's our first polar bear. Do we take it out? Do they run like the other bears? Yeah, they do. Okay, we're not killing him. Don't worry. He's gone, skis. Surely no one's here already. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh, shit. Someone is there. No. Contest for it. Contest it. Oh no, this is the fight, dude. This is the fight. He's gonna he's trying to get this he's trying to get it right now, dude. I need a TC. He didn't place his bag down. He didn't place his bag down. Oh, dude, that's not good. Hopefully he doesn't have a bag and he's running back from spawn. I could probably get it in that time, right? I'll build a base like there on the corner. So it's as close to that. And then I'll break that and let that decay and build my main one. Just a two by one. Uh-oh. I'm one hit. Is that the same guy? I don't I didn't check name. It was in fact the same guy, and I had killed him twice, hopefully delaying him enough to where I could secure the ice lake for myself. He still had a tool cupboard there though, so I quickly farmed up some metal and sulfur, placed down a level one workbench, crafted some handmade shells, and got to work getting rid of it. Actually, more than I thought there was going to be. After getting rid of the tool cupboard, I did a bit of farming and started building my main base. Being a force wipe, I had no blueprints, so I headed for the train tunnels as quick as I could to build up my scrap and learn the essentials. Is there sign just here? Yes, not run. And after killing a few tunnel dwellers, then dying, then killing a few more tunnel dwellers and dying, I had eventually cleared out this top area and decided that that was enough for now and I would head back to try and depot the little amount of loot that I had. I'm going to head up with this, I think, and then I'll come back. Oh, 
Oh my god. Is a guy finding a, finding a polar bear above me? Fuck, I don't want to fight right now, dude. I'm low on health. There's a horse? There's a horse? There's a bear? There's a person? Might have been eaten by the bear? <laughs> what do I do now, dude? I know he's there. He knows I'm watching. He knows I'm watching. Well, that's convenient. That's actually very convenient. Water, please. Water, please. I'm going back down. I can heal to 100 if I go down. It's worth it. Oh, shit. Are you going to Arctic? Maybe I should keep going on this now. I've got 18 arrows, but I can heal to 100 of these hobo barrels. What? Okay. Nice. As if we got that home, dude. Cloth is usually a pretty big issue in the snow, so I headed to the bandit camp to recycle and had one of the closest calls to dying I've ever had in this game. I heard someone to my like, front right, but yep. He waited for me. That guy waited for me. Oh! Oh my god, that was so close! That was unbelievably close. That arrow hit me as I got into the safe zone. After successfully getting this recycle run home, I was able to research metal tools, but I needed a green card. The closest green card spawn was a supermarket over 10 grids away. So I began running there, but got a little bit distracted on the way when I heard some fighting happening in the launch site. Someone's getting sh shafted. Interesting. Ah, oh, shit. There's more people here, dude. What? Fuck, dude. I was really struggling to find my first gun. Opening military crate after military crate, not even being able to find something as simple as a revolver. Every time I've gone to dome so far, there's been someone there. I literally live so close to it and I haven't looted it once. No, for fuck's sake. Fuck you, bitch. Extra kit, worth it. I ran the airfield three or four more times and was still unable to find a gun, so it became pretty obvious pretty quickly that I was going to have to get grubby for it. You best fucking believe it. He's farming. He's farming sulfur specifically. Look at this convenient sulfur node right next to me. We did it, baby. We fucking did it, baby. What a relief. With my first gun researched, I headed straight to the airfield to get the scrap in order to be able to research the pistol bullet and hollow sight that came with it. Oh, shit.
Okay, he got up. He literally... Get out of here, kid. What are you doing, bro? What do you mean? Why are you camping the tower? Bro, I was literally just walked up the tower and you arrived. That's not my fault that you got here at bad time. Oh, yes. Green and blue, dude. We'll come back with green and blue. These green and blue cards were pretty monumental, considering I hadn't been able to get my hands on either of them up until this point in the wipe. I headed home, depoted, then went for another train tunnels run to try and get the rest of the scrap that I needed. That's a real person. Can I try and kill him? Okay, yeah, I'm going for him. There's two. I don't know the design or layout of this place at all, but... Oh my god. I can't see anything. I'm just crashing into trees. Holy shit. Ladder hatch. After getting these spare guns, I went and did the train tunnels run that I originally planned on doing. Once I depoted, I used my newly acquired snowmobile to head to the airfield and do the cards puzzle. Oh no. I could get a red from Arctic, but I think that'd be even more regularly looted than this would, right? It's all here. We did some damage. I got nothing I can do other than wake him out. So, uh, how you doing? How's your, how's your wipe going? I figure we may as well just have a chat, you know. We're going to have this little standoff. Yeah, that's fair. We may as well just have a chat, you know. I mean, the standoff is going to stand off, so we may as well. It is indeed. How's your wipe been, bro? Uh, it started a bit slow, but it's going all right now, I guess. You a group? No, nah, bro, I'm solo. I'm solo. How about you? Uh, I'm just a duo at the moment. I mean... You could just come up and just, just cop the FF. I don't and, think that's going to happen. You know, I don't think I'm going to win that fight. Yeah. Stuck on a ladder. Yeah. Nah, I mean, we'll let you live if you come up. There's two of them. <laughs> no fucking but, shot you'll let yeah. me live. No, not with your shit, but you can walk uh, away. I don't want to walk away. I'd rather die trying. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well... I don't know how much trying you'll be able to do, bro. I mean, how much patience have you got? Mate, I work with kids, I'm pretty fucking patient. I work with kids, oh fuck, I'm screwed. Yeah, you are fucking screwed, bro. If it comes to patience, I'll tell you what. I wonder if they can hear those guys coming up the train tunnels. What was that? I have no fucking clue. No, dude. What? They came in the back and there was two of them, bro. I'm going back. I'm going back. Two down bottom because I didn't finish that guy. I didn't full kill him. There's going to be two down the bottom, two up the top, who I don't think are together. They're gone, dude. Yep, yeah, that's an L. I'll go grab the snowmobile. Take it back home.
What? Why did I not spray? Am I seriously that dumb? What a dumbass. Why would you push that? Holy shit, Stacy. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I may have gained an inventory full of farm from that run, but I did lose both of my key cards. And with it being so difficult to get any key cards around my area, I decided that I would go full grub mode and camp at the airfield to wait for someone to bring the cards to me. And it didn't take long for my first victim to arrive. Oh, really, man? You're camping here with a Tommy? You're just camping here? Yes, sir. You can dislike it as much as you want, but it fucking works. Solo's got a grub, bro. Solo's got a grub. I'm sorry. I secured the red card and then straight away lost the red card by doing an underwater laps run. I still had a spare blue card though, so I ran down to the Arctic base to try and get another red. However, it was already looted. On the way back though, I heard some interesting noises coming from a neighbor's base. That is a raid. All right, depot, go to that raid. Nope, I'm gonna need that. You're at least a three man, you're AK suppressed. Oh, it was an online raid? What? worth actually worth another saw that was actually worth it two saws i was hoping these would be explo ammo but no the people in the base that had just been raided were definitely not finished for this wipe and they would rebuild they'd come into this story a little later on but for now i wanted to get as much scrap as possible to place down a level 3 workbench and tech tree to an mp5 so i headed for an underwater labs run managed to get 60 high qual from a single elite crate and then once i got back from that i went for a train tunnels run That's awkward as fuck. Get me out of here, dude. Oh no, they're coming. They're fucking coming, bro. Oh my god. No, dude, I have to clear this out. Shoot, motherfuckers! <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get me the fuck out of here!
One died? One died to the train, dude. They're chasing me, bro. They're chasing me. Three, two, one. Chase of the century, run. Run! What is this? I've never been chased through tunnels like this before, bro. Never in my life, dude. Come on. I duped the shit out of them. I don't even have that much. I just got a green card that I want to keep. We're out. After narrowly escaping this tunnel's run, I headed for the underwater labs again to get the last needed scrap so that I could tech tree to the MP5. Once I had done this, I used the last remaining swipe of my blue card to get a red from the Arctic base, then went to the airfield to do a bit of recycling. And while I was at the airfield, I heard some explosions not too far away. That was a raid. Big boy raid, by the sounds of it. Rocket raid out in the snow, dude. That's big. It's somewhere out that direction. And I've only heard... What, four rockets then? It wasn't even four, I don't think. I don't even know any bases out there they could be raiding. You know what? Yep, here we go. What, dude? What? Why was he there? I did not ready for him to be there. Fuck it, I'm going back with an MP5. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this is the cruel life of a solo. I went back to try and get them, but they were already gone by the time I got there. So I went and collected my loot from my stash and took it home. Then I noticed an airdrop falling not too far away from the base, so I went to contest that. Hope you got a gun from that airdrop, buddy. There he is. I think he's got Nyoka. No shot, bro. He's going to try his little heart out. How many do you have? Oh my god. I fucking cried. It gave me a fucking pumpy. That's really unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. Yep. That was a shit airdrop if you didn't toss anything. After this airdrop fight, I wanted to keep farming scrap, so I went for a launch site run. Ooh. <laughs> Got 
guy here. Rocket launcher. Here's a rocket launcher. Here's a rocket launcher. That's exactly what I need. That's so random. There's a kid with a bow in here. Where the hell? Where the hell did he get a rocket launcher? The lucky dog. Here, I recycle here and get out of here. Oh shit! I'm getting out of here. With a successful launch site right under my belt, I did a bit of farming and upgraded my base before hopping off for the night. We started off day two by finding out that the guys down the hill had rebuilt after that raid. Apparently they were pretty fond of roof camping, so you best believe we'll be sorting them out later. I went for a couple of farm runs, but uh, I guess you could say it didn't go too well. Uh, what? Please tell me there's one. There's never only one. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. To recover from this immediate loss of both of my jackhammers, I went and did a couple of train tunnels runs. At this point, I had built up a pretty good stock of resources in my base, so my goal was to get enough scrap to learn the things I needed to make a compound and then also research the higher tier explosives so I could do some raids later on in the day. If that base there's getting raided, that's a big raid. Should I go? Nah, probably not. I need to focus on farming with this compound up. Dude, they're, they're double rocketing. They're double rocketing. Maybe it is that base. I'm going to go suss it out. I'm going to take this home and go suss it out. Do I take a kit though? I might take a Tommy rather than the MP5. I'm going to run this way and try and go from behind. I'm going to use, I'm going to lose a Hazzy here, but I think I have two spare at least. I'm going to try and be patient here because it's definitely going to be like a big group because this is a, I'm pretty sure it's a big group that they're raiding. The base looks reasonable size. That's a turret. Oh, you fucking... Well, I need to get back there. If I can kill that guy, get an MP5 off him. And that's kind of what I'm... That's what I'm there for, is to kill people like that. They're still rocketing. Raid base on the hill. M2 on roof. As if he hit me then. I think I just want something to happen. There should be counters at this time. I might be out of luck here. Could check for scraps once they're done, but I'm not going to kill them all, am I? I could pretty easily creep up to the wall, I reckon. But it's just, what do I do from there? They're yeeting on a snowmobile. Where are they going? If they're going on their own out on a snowmobile, I can get one off, pick one off. I don't really want to be on this side, but I am now. <laughs> well, those two guys are back, I think. Maybe I can sit here and wait for them if they come back this way. Okay, okay, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're so shit. <laughs> I mean, it's quite far, but... Should I, should I run or should I try and just make a play? I don't think I'm going to be able to make a play, right? I'm going to die. Like, there's nothing I can do. I need to pick one off and then book it. Okay, well, that's not good. Can I yoink an AK and get out of here? How many... If there's one in the count in this base here, I could get a... Oh, 
Oh, dude, that's annoying. Ooh, rocket steel. Huh. Oh, shit. This guy's asking to die. Oh, I'm fucked. Okay, I, I, I regret my decision.